Today we're going to show you how to clean the pilot assembly on this convection type heater. These heaters come in different sizes and they're made by different manufacturers. This one is made by Enerco Products out of Cleveland. We're going to start by removing the three screws that hold the heater cover on. We want to be able to get to the uh, pilot burner assembly which is just underneath the cover. Now that the cover is removed, we can now get to the pilot assembly on the heater. The pilot assembly consists of two parts, the air mixer and the orifice. We're going to remove this so we can get it out to clean it. What happens is a little bit of dirt can get in this pilot orifice and block it. And if the pilot orifice is blocked, the heater will not light. Okay, now all we have to do is take the orifice out. We're going to blow air back through the orifice, blowing it backwards. You don't want to blow it frontwards because you'll lodge the dirt in there more. I just use a piece of quarter inch rubber hose, connect a blow gun to it, and give it a short burst of air. This normally will clean the dirt out of the pilot. If you want to make sure it's clean, just hold it up to the light. If you can see any kind of light coming through that pilot orifice, that means it's clean enough to put back into the heater. I like to blow a little bit of gas through the line just to make sure that uh, we got all the dirt out of there. I like to spray a little soapy solution on the pilot orifice and the connection. It just makes it go back together a little bit easier. Okay, now we can uh, reinstall everything just like you took it out, put it back together, just snug it up. Don't have to make it real tight. The gas connection is just a compression fitting, so don't uh, over tighten that either because you could uh, make it leak if you over tighten it. Anytime you take these uh, pilot assemblies apart, you want to put some leak detector on them to make sure that uh, there's no leaks when you put it back together. Okay, now we're ready to fire it up and let's see how it works. Notice a nice blue pilot hitting the thermocouple. It's very important that that pilot stays on that thermocouple after the heater's lit. Nice blue flame, not lifting off the thermocouple. This heater is repaired. Okay, now we can put the cover back on the heater, put the screws back in, and the heater is good to go. I hope I was able to help you out. Thanks for watching.